and then I will come around and check uh, some homework for you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when completing a problem like this, um, I would like to let you guys know, when completing a problem like this, I'll answer my phone during a video. No, I have no idea who that is. Um, so anyways, when you guys are subtracting, you could easily subtract these. My personal preference is rather than subtracting them, I would like to just treat this as like a negative 1 and distribute it. It just makes it a little bit easier. And then I can get rid of my parentheses once I kind of distribute that through. So I have 4s to the fourth minus s squared minus 3. Negative 1 times 3s is a negative 3s. Negative 1 times negative r squared. Oops. It's supposed to be s. Oh, yeah, there's an s. So that's a negative s. This becomes now a positive s squared. And then this becomes a positive 5. Does everybody see that, what I did? Now I just, combi I just combine them. Now I'm just going to rewrite them where the terms that are similar or like terms are right next to each other. You could easily just finish the problem from here. But just for those of you that are still kind of having a little trouble with this, I can just rearrange this. So now you guys can see, um, did I miss one? That's a squared, what? S squared. S squared. Oh, OK. All right, there was two of them. There you go. OK. So you can see these s squareds. Well, you have a negative and a positive, so that goes to 0. Negative 3s, and then negative 3, negative 3 plus 5 is going to be a positive 2. So I have 4s to the fourth minus 3s and then plus 2. And they're just asking to classify, right? So if I was just going to classify, this is to the fourth power, so it's quartic. And then there's three terms, so it's a quartic trinomial. OK, cool. And the degree of that one is 4, and the 